So I did a bachelor's degree in marine biology and I graduated that in 2016 and then I went on to work at Lady Elliot. So I've been out there for the last four years now. And during that time, I became an underwater photographer and I also did my master reef guide course. My whole time out on Lady Elliot, I wanted to be learning more and doing more. So I felt like I was kind of missing that research aspect because my role out there is more so based on guiding and like ecotourism. I met the scientists here at USC and yeah one day I just kind of plucked up the courage to go and ask them if they'd take me on as a student and here we are. My honours research I'm focusing on the epaulette shark and when I went to Lady Elliot they were absolutely everywhere there so I spent like many many afternoons down on the reef with my camera trying to take photos of them. There's a lot of research going into that hypoxia ability but there's not that much research on their spot patterns. Kind of a new area I suppose. With the underwater photography, that kind of just started off accidentally, I suppose. The more I did it, the more I loved it. And I started to see some really incredible stuff and spend hours and hours in the water every day. I love sharing that stuff online because I've got people that look at my page from across the world. And a lot of those people like, have openly told me that they'll probably never get the opportunity to visit the reef in their whole life. Get a few messages from people saying, you know, like, You've made my day, you've really inspired me to learn more about this ecosystem that I don't know much about. I think it really creates a stronger connection with this wildlife and with the reef.